Hi. Sometimes when you perform a simulation in COMSOL, you want to extract the mesh coordinates and also solution at those mesh points from MATLAB for further processing. For example, you want to plot them the way you want or do whatever else that you, you need. In this video, I will show you how to do that. Um, so here I have a, a very simple model. It's an, it's an electrostatic 2D model. Uh, this is a circle. A voltage is applied to this circle and on the boundaries I have ground. Here is the field distribution and we have also voltage distribution here. Uh, this is the, the meshes and I made three separate studies. One of them is a stationary study, one is time dependent and one is frequency dependent. Now these studies are not important here. The, the only important thing is that we have multiple studies and they are different like time dependent, frequency dependent and we want to know how to extract all the information from all of these studies in MATLAB. Okay, so the first step that we have to do is to save this file as M file. So I save it as M file. Maybe I set another name, test. All right, so now I have my test file here. I open it. Okay, so I change this model to test. All right. First thing we have to do is to connect um, MATLAB to console server. So this is few lines of code. I use them to connect it. Um, I have already explained these things in my previous tutorial about how to connect MATLAB to console. So you can watch them if you need more information about that. Okay, so now we are establishing connection to console server and basically we can run this MATLAB code uh, from MATLAB and perform this simulation directly in MATLAB. All right. Now you notice that here the name of these, um, the model that is created is model basically. So we're going to the end of this file and what I'm going to do. Let's say I want to extract the voltage distribution. What I can do is that mph eval, so this is the command that you have to use, from which model, from the model, the name of this file, and what do I want to eva evaluate is the voltage. Now here also we have to specify the data set. If you don't specify the data set, it will take from the first study. In this case, it was a stationary. Let us maybe first do this. Okay, so I need to extract this parameter out of this model. So VV. All right, so we come to uh, MATLAB and we say VV is equal to test. And we have to wait a bit. Okay, so now we have the solution. Let me I clear this. So VV, this is basically an struct element that is now available in MATLAB workspace. And it has a number of components. So the first component is basically the, the value of the solution at each mesh point. So in this study, we have actually 6,425 points, 25 nodes. Uh, basically, the second one is the coordinates of those nodes. So the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. So the first one is the solution. The second one is the coordinates. Third and fourth one are the indices that connects the, basically each node. Uh, it's in which uh, mesh elements or each mesh element is related to which nodes. So we don't have anything to do with the last two terms, but the first two terms are important for us. So for example, if I want to plot the mesh points in MATLAB, what I can do is that I can just write plot. Um, okay, just a moment. Okay, so I can write plot. Basically, what should I plot? VV dot P, so the first coordinate versus VV dot P, the second coordinate, and I can show them with, with some dots. Okay, so if I plot this, you see that I have all the nodes right now uh, shown in this figure. And we see that we have the same basically a structure for the mesh in console. Now imagine if you want to plot the information that we have, the solution on these uh, node points. So first thing we have to do is to maybe create a, a regular structure. So I'm going to create some uh, mesh grid. So xx and yy let's say is equal to what? Mesh grid. Um, 
because this one moves from 0 to 10 so let's say from 0 with the step of 0 0.02 and then again from 0 0 0.2 to 4 okay so now I have the mesh grids basically what I want to do is that I have these points and I have the data of these points I want to map it in something that is a network a nice network and then later on I can plot it with MATLAB okay so I created this mesh grid let me I also create the data so to map this uh, original information into me this mesh grid basically what I have to do is to give the coordinates of the point uh, basically vv.p so this is the x coordinate vv.p of uh, maybe I should zoom in isn't that Yes, so vv.p, um, so this is the second coordinate, and then I should say vv.d1, this is only one, uh, let's say one raw, okay, so this is basically the information, so this is x-axis, this is the x-coordinate, this is the y-coordinate, and these are the information, and we want to map it on the mesh grid that we have created on, on here okay this is correct why these are red vvd1 vvd1 it's red because we have to specify grid data this is the function we have to use and now we can plot mesh basically xx yy and a All right, so now if I plot them, let us let me I save it into Sol, let's say. Okay, so here basically we have the, the plot of voltage distribution in this graph. You can see that, of course, here we have the full voltage, and then as we move aside, uh, the voltage decays. So the voltage was 1 volt that I applied, and it's, uh, it's gradually decaying. It's like a mountain that somebody cuts the top of it but okay so basically this is how we can extract one uh, solution if you go back to this test file we can actually extract the solution of all of these studies so in this case okay so this is the first one what I can do actually I can this will also give us the same answer I can actually specify the data set data set and then which data set is data set one so if you don't specify, it will already take it as dataset 1. Now, if I want to take, let's say, 2. So this is dataset 2. And let's say V3. We say this is dataset 3. And maybe here I also change it to 1. Yeah. And then let me this time I take, for example, let me I take electric field. Why not? For the first one and for the other two it's voltage doesn't matter so we go up and here i say vv1 vv2 vv3 so we're now extracting all of these information so let me i clear this zoom in so what should i type i say i want to get all of them vv1 vv2 vv3 is equal to test so we run this and we wait okay so now the the study is completed what we can see is that uh, let me I clear this so VV1 actually is basically the information now it has the information of electric field and again these are the solutions these are the mesh coordinates and if I type VV2 what you see is that we have the information of voltage we have now 11 sets of information um, and then we have the mesh coordinates there is 11 sets because in the time dependent analysis I have uh, from 0 to 1 with the step of 0 0.1 seconds which means totally we have 11 sets of solutions and then VV3 gives me three sets of solutions because uh, in COMSOL I specified only three frequency 50 100 200 okay so this is clear now if I go back for example in this 
if I want to plot, let's say, if I want to plot VB1, okay, so now this will be the electric field. I can plot it. You see that here we have the electric field plot. Obviously, it's higher close to these tips and inside this cylinder, it's zero. At these corners, it's less than at these corners because if you go back to console, we see that this distance is smaller, so electric field will be higher than these points. And that we also can see it here in the 3D graph. And now, for example, if I want to plot it from the second analysis, from the time-dependent study, so VV2, and now this is, for example, at the first, uh, the first solution. We can also change it to, for example, fifth solution. So this will be basically the voltage distribution at fifth solution and so on. All right, so here we get to the end of this video. Bye.